Jim, uh, 2 0 win against Bradford Park Avenue. Again, back to the top of the National League. Two goals for your captain. Clean sheet. You must be absolutely over with me. Really pleased that um, you know, worked hard this week. Um, obviously, a couple of injuries, a couple of bits and pieces. Obviously, suspension with Jordan. But we've got a, a really close knit squad who are all chomping at the big, healthy competition. And I'm thankful that uh, we've got good players to come into the to the building, um, into the out the building, into the team. And you know, losing Luke Burke, we brought Dan Pike in. The excellent uh, debut for him. I mean, it'll be a tough game because they're not a bad side. There's no given at this at the at the level at the at the, uh, at the in the league. So. Astro turf away from home, etc. etc. So we've done what we needed to do with regards to our preparation. We've gone out with a you know, we've had a good a good uh, lead up, a good journey over, etc. And I think from minute one we, we showed what we wanted to do and I think we dominated the ball throughout. Uh, my only criticism was that little bit of desire or that little bit of end product when we got in there to you know to go and get on the end of something um, which you know that's the, the most important thing is putting the ball in the back of the net and there's a couple of opportunities there first half where we should be doing better but as I say every time it went forward we kept getting it, recycling it, dominated possession, worked the opposition and you know we've, we've seen so far this season with a lot of teams that we've come up against that they, they can bank up against us but we've got to find a way of winning and uh, it might not always be nice and playing through the lines and overloads and combination play around the edge of the box etc what we want to do and we've tried that today and it did come off at times and as I say a little bit of end product was missing a little bit of desire or that little bit of cleverness in around the six yard box or the second six yard box 18 yard box to go and get um, a goal that would have settled us right down and we keep saying about set plays for and against they're very very important so I think we've been exceptional set plays against um, pre-season early season set plays for that's why you work on them you know we've got a routine there for Wits the second one it was excellent and I'm really pleased with Wits you know, I know he beat himself up last season I think he, he hit the post he hit the bar quite a few times keep pulling off saves and uh, he ended up getting more I think but you know we should be getting more and for him to step up as the captain and, and, and as I say when it wasn't going our way and you're thinking they're going to strangle us we're not finding a way we're going to have all the possession they're going to frustrate us they're going to bank up against us we found a way of winning and that was through two, two set plays great delivery great headers good movements carrying out what's expected of them and as I say we deserve to win so really pleased clean sheet really pleased for Wits Dan Pike's come in on Robertson's made his debut so there's loads of positives today and there you know, there's a good atmosphere in there you know once we've had our little debrief myself and Shaddy and the tunes go on it's nice to see them um, you know that's what you're in the game for to enjoy winning games of football and, and, and make sure that we enjoy every game and that's what we've done today and three points and there's uh, something to build on again keep that unbeaten one going I was saying on, uh, to Joe at half time that it real backs to the wall from, from Bradford in that first half and we had plenty of opportunities and Joe just said we'll keep keep calm, keep doing what we're doing and hopefully the goal will come. Was that basically what you were saying to the lads at half time? Hundred percent, yeah, there wasn't much we could touch on defensively, just be careful about giving silly fouls away, don't give them an opportunity to put it in the box, making sure that the back two wrap up their centre forward. Uh, and, and as I say, offensively we're just looking for a little bit more in that final third, that little bit of cuteness and cleverness. Uh, which you know loads of possession defensive third middle third getting into that business end we need a little bit more not to say it wasn't there there was some good stuff and credit to the opposition as well you know they're the way of playing they, they banked up against us they were competitive they got stuck into us they're quite a fit bunch as well so you know we had to work it and work it and work it as I say it never come through open play it come through through um, through a, a two set plays but I have to say you know when called upon you know, you're 2 0 up, and then they make a few changes and start throwing the ball in the box, and the wind got up down, you know, behind them. So uh, we knew that there was a couple of fouls in that middle third, and they were going to load it in the box. But when called upon, Chris Neal's made an absolutely outstanding save at 2 0. Because anything can happen there. You know, 2 0 is a tricky scoreline, they won't get one back, cause into the wind, throw bodies forward, and suddenly you could be coming away from a difficult place going. Well, actually, we've done with the possession, but we've drawn the game, and it all hinged on that one moment. So we're like to wait till get the, the pats on the back and you know as I say there's loads of positives today you can never leave out the fellows in the, in the net to do what they to be fair I don't think he's really used his hands all day but when called upon that was a fantastic save by Neil Owen he deserves massive credit because he's a, he's a good player good pro and uh, he's just kept his focus right and, and when called upon he, he come, come with chunks for us Six past Farsley today. It's going to be a, a tough draw. See, the league is obviously the, the priority.
priority, but how much more you prioritise the FA Cup as well? I want to do well in every competition. You know, the FA Cup's a fantastic competition. It's a tough draw. You know, we've been impressed by Spenny more last year. Certainly been impressed by the football scene this year. I watched the game recently before we played Southport with when Spenny more beat them. And, uh, you know, they're a competitive uh, team. The, the well drilled and in, in tailored up front is got one of the best centre forwards in the league who's been doing it for years so I think he got three today so it's a, it's a, they're a good side you know um, as I say there's no easy game at the level it's into the cup yeah our bread and butter is going to be the league that's what we want to excel in and, and be at the top end of the table and hopefully get promoted uh, but I always say you know we've got a squad we've got players coming back from injury we've got players coming back from suspension uh, in Jordan Hume that was his sixth game today so you know there's, there's even bigger competition and I want those headaches and when the games do come round you want to be able to you know have your, the ammunition to go out and win every game that we go into we want to do well in the FA Cup or we say you can get to the third round like we did the other year went to Sheffield United we want to do well in the FA Trophy they've won that recently or we've won that recently before my time um, so yeah we'll treat every game exactly the same there's no way we're going to take the fuss off the gas we want to keep going keep striving for, for success keep trying to stay in every competition certainly you know the cups uh, as long as we can and uh, do well in the league but we know spending more will be a tough game for us when the draw come out of us we can, could have been a little bit kind at least we're at home there's not another journey you know after what, what we've done recently so we'll look forward to it and if we keep going the way we're going and they're, the way they're going it's got the the makings of a good game so hopefully our our fans and our local community can get out and get a bit of cup fever and get right behind the team to to get us into that next round Cheers, Jim.